What is going on boys? It is your boy KC3 and we are back with a brand new video. Now today guys, I'll be showing you all how to get better FPS in creative destruction with proof. And on your screen right now will be gameplay from quite a while ago's video and I'm just gonna let that run for you right now. So if you wanna stay to the end, you will see there's gonna be a massive difference. So in that video you could see that my FPS was pretty low considering that I did kind of increase the performance in a way but anyways today we're gonna to go even further than that and we're going to increase it even more so today i'm not playing on the usual pc that i play on i'm playing on a laptop and um um so this is that's why i'm using bandicam because obs i, I don't know obs is just buggy right now and it doesn't want to work so whatever so we're just going to go over to my Koei's performance, this will be in the description as always. So the first thing we want to do is to go into the power plan bat, we want to go to power config, we want to copy, then we want to close out of that, we want to then go to the search bar, we want to type control V, and then it will add the power plan to our existing power plans. So then to, um, to use that power plan, we want to choose a power plan. And then it will either be here or here since i already added it quite a while ago it will it'll already be um the the main one so that's the first thing we have today then the second thing we have is our registry and we have batch files now the batch files is basically just to take ownership of your pc because some of things won't run um like such in the registry so we just want to run uh, that into power power run and then the next thing we do is just want to uh we want to clean up the chunk on our pc because you can see this frees up quite a bit of storage so do this every once in a while because it really really does make a difference okay, okay. now the next thing we want to do is we, we just want to close out of all of this then we want to go over to our graphic settings graphic settings and we want to add make sure that CD or creative destruction is added as uh, high performance and not as power saving now on PC or on a, on PCs and not laptops sometimes you won't have this feature I'm pretty sure and just to prove it to you there is a GT 710M which means laptop version so then we're going to close out of that so now what you want to do is you want to go over to your device manager you want to open it up and then we want to close our other devices we want to go over to system devices and then we want to disable high precision event timer now what this does is it can really drastically decrease your performance as this is running in the background all the time and it can just really make a big difference to your performance next thing we want to do is when we're going to go to add or remove programs we want to go to apps and features and then you want to delete absolutely everything that you do not need so this is um, some one of the few things that are on my lap, on this laptop that aren't working or aren't running. So we just want to click reset, and then you will notice that it is now gone. So the next thing we want to do is films and TV. I don't use that. I use a special. I use VLC for that. So then we just want to uninstall it. Then we just want to look at anything else on here that we don't need, and then you just want to uninstall that as well. This will also drastically improve performance because with the more things running in the background the more things you will have um, that increases your your cpu to have more things running and it will just start slowing it down so you can see my cpu usage is at 50 percent that's because i am recording and that will normally set that around um <clears throat> it will normally set around at like 10 to 20 percent so yeah it does make a big difference so the next thing you want to go is go to startup make sure you have no programs here and then we want to go over to ms config we want to open it up and then we want to just do selective startup boot and we want to do no gri boot and we want to put this as five seconds what also what this will do is it won't show the windows logo when you start up your pc so it'll go directly to the next um um to just do the boot up screen from the from the time you press the button then we want to go to hide all microsoft services so we don't turn off any microsoft service by mistake and then we just want to go over to disable all of these we just want to go and disable everything that doesn't need to be running and 
these are just um, services that um, that really don't need to be running so then we want to just look at all of them um, I need most of them so we're just gonna leave it as that but make sure you do tick hide all Microsoft services because you could potentially break your PC okay now the next thing we want to do is want to go back into a file and we want to go over to registered leaks and we want to click on it we want to click run okay I'm gonna click on um, game profile optimization and you want to do this for every single one now what this will do is power throttling is basically it slows down the power to your PC and it doesn't allow the the power to get um, 100 percent through and then we just want to do that for each and every one of us and it's pretty much speaks for itself what it does then the next thing we want to do is we want to go um and go to game mode game mode okay now you can this is up to you if you want to use game Boy or not but i would suggest turning it off just because sometimes it can lead to just unneeded processes in the background and then we want to turn game or game mode off or on that is really up to you so you'll have to play around with it and see which one is better i prefer it off and then now we want to go over to cd and then i'll show you guys that there is a big improvement in fps okay now something i did forget to do was you need to go over to your con nvidia control panel we just want to close out of that you want to open up your con video control panel as well as your graphics properties if you are running on a laptop without a graphics card then you will most likely will have this so we want to go over to the graphics properties we want to go over to 3d and then we want to go over to application optimal mode and we just want to click on it Select allow to allow optimization in 3d applications and achieve a higher performance so we want to click enable we want to turn off multi-sample anti-aliasing we want to turn this off and then our general setting we want obviously to perform it then the next thing we want to do is we want to go to adjust images settings with preview we want to turn the image um use my profess uh my preference emphasizing performance and then that should be it so i think the physics um, configuration is also something that we need to do so once this i don't know what it's doing right now let's make sure our cd is running okay Okay, so then we want to select our um, GPU as the um, first X processor and then whatever this is um, I have no idea what this is so I'm just going to close it out. I've never seen that before. Now we're going to hop into CD and we will see what our FPS looks like there. That was a big difference and a big improvement in FPS and in a short amount of time. Now you won't guarantee to get the same FPS as me and the same a big difference as me, but it will definitely boost your FPS in some way. Thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out boys.